Hey guys, today I'll be sharing with you how to um, record live commentary f using the Hypocalosis for your PC footage. So yeah, I have basically two methods to share with you, one of which uses an extra software for you to record your commentary and then it requires you to edit. Um, during editing, you will have to sync the audio together with the video. Well, for the other method, it requires you to do some system tweaking and from there on, you can use your Hypocalosis to record both your commentary as well as your PC footage. Um, I would personally recommend the second one, but it, um, it might not be fully compatible with all systems. But in any case, both has its own pros and cons, so you can choose whichever you are more comfortable working with. Right guys, so the very first method I'm going to teach you is to use a additional software called Audacity. I recommend using this software to record your uh, mic input because mainly because it's lightweight and it's versatile enough for you to do some minor, minor editing or and it's enough for you to record. Um, so it's free anyway, so there's another reason why I recommend it. What you have to do is simple. Um, basically, you should have it all set up properly. What you can see here is that in your full screen here, you can see over here, um, make sure you have the microphone input to the correct one, etc. And if you check if you have it correctly, you can simply click at the meter here, the sound meter here. And if you're talking, you can see that the meter will start fluctuating according to how you talk. Um, so it's really simple really. Um, to use this method, you basically start capturing here. Um, once you start capturing, all you have to do after that, after you press capture here, you're going to press record here. So now at this point of time, what you want to do is that you're going to have a an indication of where the audio is in sync with the video. So something I could suggest you can do is you can simply go to Notepad and simply as you type a letter, you're going to you're going to say it out as you type it simultaneously. So, like for example, you're going to zoom this in. If you can, um, hold on a second. Right, let's make this bigger. So, for example, you can say like A, then B, C, sorry, C, D, E, and you can give yourself a countdown so you can anticipate when. The next letter is coming, perhaps say 3, 2, 1, F, 3, 2, 1, G. Alright, so once you have done that, all you have to do is to, um, once you've done that, you can start recording all your other footages that you want to record. And during the editing phase, what you want to do is that for this part, you're going to export it obviously. And you have this file that's separate from the video within your video editing editing software, whether is it um, Adobe Premiere or maybe Sony Vegas, um, it doesn't matter. You're going to sync it in such a way that when the audio file plays, when you hear yourself say A, you're going to see in that very particular text file that you type in the letter A and so on. So you sync it in such a way and the, the, following, the following parts of the audio should be in sync. Once you have done that, you can cut off the, pre the previous part and then you can get it ready to be produced. So with such a method, you cannot get a perfect sync. There's no such thing as perfect, but um, with sufficient experience, you should be able to get it in such a way that the whole video is in sync to, to your ears at least. Yeah, so that's about it. It's as simple as it is. Um, and yeah, Alright, so this next method I'm going to teach you will require you to do some tweaking to your system settings. Um, most systems should be compatible with this, but I'm not really sure because I don't have an ATI card to test with me right now. So anyway, your options may differ from mine, but you should just simply understand what I'm saying and, and apply accordingly. Um, Alright, so what you want to do first is to go to your um, recording devices, you can right click on the volume um, icon in your taskbar and click on recording devices. Um, you also can go to your 
you can go to control panel sound and then recording it doesn't matter so what you're going to do first is that it's, um, you're going to right click in the space and you can check that you have enabled this option to say show disabled devices so once you click that once you enable that you should have something called stereo mix or wave out or what you hear or something like that it can differ it will differ from different sound cuts um, so mine basically is called stereo mix for my real tech audio what you can do is to enable the device and then go into properties you can click um, under listen and then you can to check box saying listen to this device and under playback through this device you're going to find for the one that states the closest now for for NVIDIA cards I believe that you would have the same as mine for ATI however you might have it as HDMI output or something like that I'm not sure but make sure it's the one that links to the closest so once you have that done you simply click OK and that's it and within your microphone now you're going to go properties same things un under listen you can click listen to this device and under playback to this device you should have the one pointing towards uh, closes or it should be the same as what you input here in the stereo mix anyway so once you've done that okay and what you do next is that you're going to set the stereo mix as the default device simply right click and you have the option here something like that set as default device and default communicating device both should be under for stereo mix so once you've done that um, you are actually ready to go you're going to go into your 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 showbiz software and under the capture module under audio input you want it to be HDMI right for this to work you want it to be HDMI so once you've done that you can simply cap press capture now here is what you have to do next in order for you to adjust the volume between the system sound, the background sound, your footage audio and your microphone, what I suggest you do is that firstly, you have the volume of your speakers, um, your main speakers, the one that you're hearing right now, to something that you, you, you prefer, something that you want it to be. And once you have it there, you're going to keep it at that volume. So for example, mine is at at 54 I'll keep it there it sounds okay to me um, and now what you want to do next is that under microphone um, you can set it obviously to max and depending on what kind of microphone you have you want to boost it or not it depends make sure that your voice is clear enough and now you go to stereo mix and you're going to play around with the um, levels here um, this basically um, is the bar to adjust how much of the system volume that is played through your speakers into the closers. So, for example, if you can make it higher, it's going to play louder and lower. Um, it can play lower. So, you're going to find the right balance. Um, for me, um, I have yet to find it, but I did do a little test and round four or something like that would be cool. So, yeah, um, once that is done, you can you can simply do a few test captures like run your game talk and hear if the background music is going to interfere with your um, with your microphone your commentary and once that is done you're good to go this concludes the first how-to guide and I hope that you have successfully managed to record your PC display if you have any problems do try to read my written guide at my website the link is in the description bar below if you still have any other problems, questions or any suggestions, do feel free to leave a comment or message me. Else thank you and if you find this video helpful to you, do please give it a thumbs up and like it. Do also subscribe to me for more of such videos.